So far we have only been considering elementary functions such as e to the x, ln x and cos of x. However what about a composite function such as e to the sine of x? In a previous video we found that the Maclaurin series for e to the x was given by 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial. And the related series for e to the 2x simply used this series for e to the x with an argument of 2x as x, i.e. we replace the x in the series with 2x. So does that mean the series for e to the sine x is simply 1 plus sine x plus sine squared x over 2 factorial plus sine cubed x over 3 factorial, i.e. replacing x with sine x? No, remember that both the Taylor and Maclaurin series are polynomial estimators, i.e. they are polynomial functions. Thus this previous technique will only work when we are composing the function with a polynomial i.e. composing the function e to the x with the polynomial function 2 of x. When we are composing a non-polynomial function, we must build the approximation from scratch. So let's determine the first four non-trivial terms of e to the sine x. So in this case, f of x equals e to the sine x. And if we evaluate this function at 0, we have e to the sine 0, which is e to the 0, or simply 1. Now if we differentiate e to the sine x using the chain rule we get the derivative of sine x so cos x multiplied by e to the sine x so cos x e to the sine x and if we evaluate this derivative at 0 we have cos 0 e to the sine 0 so 1 multiplied by 1 giving us 1. So far we have found two non-zero terms so now if we calculate the second derivative, this time using both the chain and product rule, we have cos of x by the derivative of e to the sine x, so cos squared x, e to the sine x, plus the derivative of cos x, so minus sine x, times e to the sine x, so minus sine x, e to the sine x. Or we can tidy this up as cos squared x minus sine x, by e to the sine x. And if we evaluate this derivative at 0, we have cos squared 0 minus sine 0 by e to the sine 0. So 1 minus 0 by 1, which again gives us 1. So, so far we have found the first three non-zero terms. Now if we use both the product and chain rule on this expression here, we find that the third derivative gives us cos cubed x minus 3 cos x sine x minus cos x e to the sine x. And if we evaluate this at the point 0, we get cos cubed 0 minus 3 cos 0 sine 0 minus cos 0 e to the sine 0. So we get 1 minus 0 minus 1 multiplied by 1, so giving us 0. Now if we calculate the next derivative, again using the product and chain rule, we get cos 4x minus 6 cos squared x sine x minus 4 cos squared x plus 3 sine squared x plus sine x e to the sine x. And if we evaluate this at 0, all the sine terms will give us 0. So we're left with cos 4 0, so 1 minus 4 multiplied by 1 so giving us minus 3. So the Maclaurin series f of x is given by f of 0 which we found to be 1 plus f dash of 0 so 1 over 1 factorial multiplied by x plus f double dash of 0 which we found to be 1 over 2 factorial multiplied by x squared plus f triple dash of 0 which we found to be 0 over 3 factorial by x cubed plus f4 dash of 0 which we found to be minus 3 over 4 factorial multiplied by x to the 4. Our 0 term cancels and we're simply left with 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 minus x to the 4 over 8. As 2 factorial gives us 2, 4 factorial gives us 24 and minus 3 over 24 gives us minus 1 over 8.